Hello people of the web and YouTube, DTPK here, and today I'm back with another tutorial which I'm sure you guys will love. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a download button in the Gary's Mod Workshop. No signing in, no sign up bullshit. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need Google Chrome with either Tamper Monkey installed, or you're going to need Mozilla Firefox with Grease Monkey installed. Okay. Okay, the last and most important thing we'll need is 7-Zip. This mod will not work without 7-Zip because the files downloaded are required to be extracted with 7-Zip. You can't use WinWire or anything else. Okay, once you got all that downloaded and set up, you'll need to download one more thing. It's called the GW Tool. This is the most important thing we'll need. Okay, once you got that downloaded, you want to navigate over to the Steam Workshop Downloader.com. And somewhere near the bottom of the page, you'll see Install User Script. Just click that. It'll give you a little prompt telling you what you'll need. And it should say Install, but because I already have the add-on, it says Reinstall on mine. Okay, now you can go to any kind of Steam Workshop add-on. You will now see a download button at the bottom of the page. What you do is you'll click that and you'll get redirected to the Steam Workshop downloader with the link to your file. Just hit download now. Wait for that to download. And once it's downloaded, move the file somewhere where you can easily see everything once you extract it. Right click it. Sorry about that. Right click it. And hit. Okay. Right click it and hit 7-zip, extract here. Once that's extracted, you'll want to open up the GW tool and you'll want to just drag and drop the file in there. And sometimes you get this weird little error, you have to just drag the other file into it. And it should be fine. Now once you drag the file you just extracted it into it, it should work. But you shouldn't have this problem. It's just I've overused my GW tool so much that I have to do that sometimes. Okay, as you can tell, the file has been successfully extracted. And what you do from there is you cut the file, go to your root directory of Gary's Mod, and you drop it in the Gary's Mod folder, add ons folder, and hit continue. Now once that's done, next time you open up Gary's Mod, you'll see your add-ons were successfully installed. If this video was helpful to you, please leave a like and subscribe for more. DTPK signing off. Peace.